Hi, it's Kerry. More awesome dinosaurs and a Hatsikopteryx and a Tyrannodon. Stay for the fun ending when the volcano erupts, sending smoke and flames up into the sky. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like volcanoes and dinosaurs. Hatsikopteryx lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a pterosaur of gigantic proportions, standing over 5 meters or 15 feet tall, with a wingspan of at least 10 meters or 30 feet wide. This would have made Hatsikopteryx one of the largest flying animals ever known. The strong skull was 3 meters or 9 feet long and amongst the largest of any land animal. Hatsikopteryx would have been flying the skies 65 million years ago above what is now Europe. Therizinosaurus is a genus of very large theropod dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period. Its name means reaping lizard, referring to its long claws. The most distinctive feature of the animal was the presence of three gigantic claws on its front limbs. Each of the three digits of its hand bore these claws. The claws grew to nearly 1 metre or approximately 3.3 feet in length. The largest claw was on the first digit. Its terrible claws were probably used to strip bark from trees or fend off predators and rivals. Very scary claws. Dinochirus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It is a genus of large ornithomimosaur, which means ostrich dinosaur. Dinochirus is thought to have been an omnivore. Its skull shape indicates a diet of plants, although fish scales and bones were found amongst gastroliths in a specimen's stomach. The large claws may have been used for digging and gathering plants, and possibly defence. You can see that the mouth is a toothless beak with a large tongue which would have helped Dinocaris forage for food on the bottom of shallow lakes and rivers. Pteranodon was a flying reptile that lived during the time of the dinosaurs during the late Cretaceous period. It had a crest on its head, no teeth at all and a very short tail. They were flying reptiles and they were about 6 feet long a 25 to 33 foot wingspan which is about 10 meters. The feathered Velociraptor Mongoliensis. It lived during the late Cretaceous period. It had a three and a half inch or nine centimeter long sickle-like retractable claw on the inner toe of each foot. This claw was its main weapon and would probably kill most of its prey easily by slashing and tearing it apart. I really like this model. The accurate wings and claws look great. Lots of detail with the feathers. I like the pose. It looks scary, like it's ready to attack. The fan-like tail is also a great feature. Can you tell me how long the Therizinosaurus claws are? Tyrannosaurus. This is another favourite model of mine. Tyrannosaurus roam through the forested river valleys in Northern America during the late Cretaceous period. T-Rex ate large dinosaurs like Triceratops. It probably lived in forests where its prey, which were the plant-eating dinosaurs, could find plenty of food. It had a great sense of smell. Tyrannosaurus would have used its good sense of smell to hunt live prey and locate dead bodies to scavenge. It would have been able to scare off any other scavengers so it didn't have to share. Cosmoceratops lived in the late Cretaceous period. It is a genus of herbivorous chasmosaurian ceratopsian dinosaur. Its name means ornate horned face. Cosmoceratops had the most ornate downward curving frill of any known dinosaur. The horns above the eyes are long, thin and pointed. They grow out from the skull and curve downwards. The frill of Cosmoceratops is quite different from other Chasmosaurines. The Irritator. 
irritator lived during the early Cretaceous period. It grew to 8 metres or 25 feet long. This carnivore was closely related to Spinosaurus. It had a long narrow skull and spines along the back. Notice the unusual shaped crest at the back of its head. It had a slender jaw with nostrils set well back from the shallow snout, which would have been great for catching fish. Draco Rex lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a pachycephalosaur or bone-headed dinosaur. It may have been a juvenile pachycephalosaurus. Its name means Dragon King. It was a medium-sized dinosaur and grew to about 13 feet with three-toed feet. It was a herbivore that lived in the woodlands of Northern America. It is easily recognized by its long, thick, flat skull with spiked horns, bumps, and a long muzzle. This model shows it had osteoderms. Afrovenator is a genus of megalosauric theropod dinosaur that lived during the Middle Jurassic period. It was a fearsome two-legged predator with three claws on each hand of its short arms. It had powerful jaws with rows of two inch or five centimeter serrated dagger-like teeth which were good for slicing through flesh. It grew to about 30 feet or 10 meters long and had a stiff tail. Afrovenator is related to Allosaurus. Nasutoceratops lived in the late Cretaceous period. It had unique, long rounded horns above its eyes, much like cattle. Its skull could grow to nearly 5 feet and its body to nearly 16 feet. The snout is quite well developed and there is a very small flat horn on the nose. It lived in the wetlands in a humid climate. Styracosaurus was a ceratopsian dinosaur from the Cretaceous period. I really like this dinosaur for its impressive and intimidating appearance. It had six long horns extending from its neck frill with smaller horns above each eye and a two foot or 60 centimeter long horn protruding from its nose. Like other ceratopsians, this dinosaur may have been a herd animal traveling in large groups as fossils grouped together have been found in bone beds. Ceratosaurus lived during the late Jurassic period. It had an S-shaped neck and a short horn on its snout. The snout horn was for display purposes only. It had a massive tail, bulky body and heavy bones. The powerful short arms had four clawed fingers. Its skull had two short brow ridges with bony knobs and ridges above its eyes and on its head. The powerful jaws had long sharp blade-like teeth. Ceratosaurus was a large fierce predator that could kill even large sauropods. Volcano alert! watching my video please share my videos with your friends see you again soon